Hey everybody, it's Nicole. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made these gorgeous decorated candlesticks using items from Dollar Tree, the clearance aisle, and a thrift store. So what I'm using are these candlesticks that I thrifted for $2 a piece. I got these from a local thrift store and they're originally from Pottery Barn. They're made out of um, metal and they're super heavy so I thought these would be great as a base. I'm also going to be using some pumpkins from Dollar Tree. I couldn't decide on what color I wanted so I just kind of gathered the three shades that I liked. Um, I also got some of these uh, blue and cream stems from Dollar Tree and those flowers actually came from Walmart but I ended up not using those. These feather picks I got from Joanne Fabrics last year um, and I was intending to make this DIY last year and never got around to it so I'm gonna do it for this year. I wanted sort of a I kind of witchy theme, I guess, if that makes sense. It was actually going to be for Halloween, but I'm liking the way it looks, and I'm kind of going for sort of a dark kind of fall theme this year, and you'll get a chance to see what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, that's where I kind of got the inspiration from. So right now, I'm going to be taking the leaves off of the stems so they'll be more easier to work with. Um, and... Uh, I am really loving some of the fall foliage that Dollar Tree has in this year. They're not as cheapy looking as they usually are, but <laughs> I'm really liking these. I'm not a blue person, but I really liked how these looked. And I know blue is really on trend for fall this year, so super excited to be bringing this to you guys to give you some inspiration. So what I'm going to do is actually start by gluing the leaves down um, on top of the candlestick um, and start layering, I guess, if that's a way to put it. And with these um, metal candlesticks, these can be easily removed um, once you're, you know, the season's over. You could actually do something for Christmas if you want to because the glue is just going to peel right off that hot glue but it'll hold until you decide to I guess recycle or reuse the candlesticks so try to find something that you could you know use over and over again and I really got lucky getting these because I'm pretty sure originally these candlesticks weren't two bucks in Pottery Barn. <laughs> And I'm using a bunch of leaves because I want it to look really, really full and I don't know what's the word. Um, I want it to look really expensive. I guess let's just put it that way. So I'm using um, a lot of those leaves. And now I'm going to kind of cut some of these feathers off of their stems and uh, layer those on top of the leaves. Again, I wanted something that looked... I guess natural you know like you just went outside and picked some but you're not gonna pick any blue flowers but again I'm kind of going for a dark kind of witchy theme you know this year for fall and Halloween so yeah well I wouldn't say witchy I'd say more macabre if that makes sense but anyway layering them up and uh, I'm loving how there are different shades of blue but they're all working together so that's why I had a hard time picking the pumpkins, but again, you'll see how it turned out in the end. And y'all tell me down below, what are you doing this year for fall? Do you have a theme or a color scheme going or do are you doing the traditional colors? I'm actually doing the traditional colors in most um, areas of my house, but this particular project has a pretty uh, special spot, I guess, <laughs> in my house. Um, so that's why I'm doing this one. But yeah, let me know down below what you guys are going to do this year. It's always fun coming up with decor themes and ideas for the seasons. Now 
And all I'm doing pretty much is just creating a base um, to nestle the pumpkins on top of. So it's pretty simple. And you can get as creative as you want. Um, have fun picking out candlesticks. Um, if you've got some already in your stash that you can kind of upcycle, feel free to do that. You know, I have tons of them. I've bought so many candle holders and candlesticks from thrift stores and flea markets and stuff until I'm just overloaded. So, um, I thought last year I'd do this project and never got around to it but last year was crazy I think for everybody well anyway here I am trying to decide which colored pumpkins I wanted to use I was originally going to use that last year and then they came out with these navy ones so I ended up using the navy um because I like the way they look um last year the lighter color it looked really nice but once I got underneath that light because I'm in my she shed up under directly underneath the light I saw how well the blue or the navy worked better with the um, blue feathers and stuff so I settled on the navy and I probably could have gotten away with uh, the other one but I really liked this one and that's pretty much it y'all and we're gonna do the other one and again it's super simple you're just layering up um, the leaves and the feathers and then just popping the pumpkin on top I'm sure it'll be fun choosing um, different items you don't necessarily have to do leaves you could probably do like the um, the moss the reindeer moss and the what's the other stuff oh gosh I can't even think of the name but you could do like little straw uh, whatever it's called or you could use the um, hula skirts everybody's using that um, you know to make like raffia you could you know kind of cut that up and use that as a base and go more rustic um, or farmhouse you know you could come up with all kinds of ideas and use different colored item you know pumpkins or different items to put on top not just pumpkins I'm always trying to come up with something creative and different, but beautiful all at the same time. I got too much time on my hands, that's what it is. <laughs> And also, y'all, I'm going to take this opportunity to say if you like stuff like this or videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see what I upload. And share the video if you know someone who shares the same interests and stuff. Um, I do everything on this channel. Cooking, decorating, hair, makeup, whatever. It's just whatever the mood is and what I'm feeling at the moment so feel free again to hit that subscribe button And right now it looks like some crazy bird's nest <laughs> oh gosh looking at this video that's funny but we'll be all gorgeous in the end <laughs> and right here I'm loading up tons of hot glue to secure everything down and then of course you know I'll pop the pumpkin on top but again this will be super easy to just take apart and redo for Christmas 
or whatever season you want to decorate it for. So like I said, look for stuff that you could use over and over again and recycle. And Dollar Tree is hitting it out of the park with these velvet pumpkins, honey, because they are beautiful. Every store that I've gone into have sold out around me. And I know there's about five or six Dollar Trees that I could, you know, readily get to, but they are gone already. And here they are on my buffet in my dining room and I love how they pop off against the red walls there and it works so nicely with my blue um, fabric runner that I made. I love how this looks in there. Like I said originally I wasn't planning on using them in the dining room but they turned out amazing so thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video bye